Lesson 6-5, Graph Square Root and Cube Root Functions. Alright, so here's the general shape of a square root function, y equals the square root of x. Um, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 4, y is 2. So it looks something like that. So you can see the smallest x value is 0. So the domain is x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's in the y's, the lowest y it gets is 0. So the range is also y is greater than or equal to 0. For the cube root, um, we can use negative numbers. When x is negative 8, y is negative 2. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. x is 0, y is 0. If x is 1, y is 1. And if x is 8, y is 8. Or 2, sorry. It's 8, 2. And that one goes left and right, whole thing. So the domain is all real numbers, and it will continue going up and down. So the range is all real numbers. You need to know the general shapes of those graphs. All right, so how do our graphs transform? Do you remember the A's, H's, and K's? Oh, let's remember. So H moves the graph right. K moves the graph up. And A, which actually has to be dealt with first, A is a vertical stretch. So when we're talking lines, that was the slope of the line. We're not doing lines anymore, but it stretches it vertically so it multiplies the y values. So if a is 2, it's twice as tall. If a is a half, it's half as tall. So the book would like us to think that we have a graphing shortcut. We start with the points from the previous graphs, multiply the y-coordinates by a, then move over h to the right and up k. Or you could just make a table of values and make sure your shape matches. So let's look at some transformations here. How did this graph transform? Well, if I compare it to y equals a square root of x minus h plus k, I can see that h is 3, which means it moves right 3. And I can see that k is 4, which means it moves up 4. h is 3, k is 4. a happens to be 1. There isn't anything here, so A doesn't do anything. Let's try another one. Again, it's Y equals A. This would be cube root X minus H plus K. Well, looking at this, um, H is 3, but it's, it's a negative. So this is really X minus a negative 3. So H is negative 3 which means it moves, instead of to the right, it's going to move left, 3. And then k is a negative 5, so instead of moving up 5, it's going to move down 5. All right, let's graph this. To do this, let's uh, check our transformations. You can see A, that should be an A, 
a is negative 2. Oh, hey, I forgot. The negative means that it gets uh, flipped over the x-axis, so it's upside down. And it's stretched by 2, so it's twice as tall. H is 3, K is 1, so it moves 3 right and 2 up. However, I think I'm really just going to make a table of values. That's the simplest thing Make sure you type it in correctly. I am going to start at negative 6 and go by 1s. And so, when x is negative 6, y is about 5.2. When x is negative 5, y is 5. When x is negative 4, y is about 4.8. When x is negative 3, y is about 4.6, negative 2 is about 4.4, negative 1 is about 4.2, 0 is about 3.9, 1 is about 3.5, 2 is 3, 3 is 1, 4 is negative 1, 5 is about negative 1.5, and 6 is about negative 1.9. So if I graph all those points, negative 1 and 4.2, 0 and 3.9. You'll see that it starts going down very quickly. And so it goes like that. That is the general shape. Remember the general shape of cube root goes like that. So it's upside down, it's moved, and it is stretched. All right, really quick, domain and range. All right, so if I compare this to y equals a, x minus h plus k, I see that h would be negative 4 and k would be negative 1. Well, my domain was, this is a square root, the domain was x is greater than or equal to 0, and the range was y is greater than or equal to 0. But I have now moved left 4. So 4 to the left of 0, that would be in the x. So now 4 to the left of 0 is negative 4. So the domain now is x is greater than or equal to negative 4. And I have moved down 1. Well, down 1 from 0 would be in the y. Going down 1 in the y would be y is greater than or equal to negative 1. So our range is y is greater than or equal to negative 1. So in general, for square root, the domain is x is greater than or equal to h, and the range is y is greater than or equal to K. That's if A is positive or Y is less than or equal to K 
if A is negative. For cube root, remember the domain and the range were both all real numbers. So shifting the thing around isn't going to affect that it still covers everything. So for cube root, the domain and range are always all real numbers. That's all for today. Have a good day.